Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexa and today we're doing a little bit of a different video. We are doing a DIY. I'm gonna show you guys how to make these book sleeves at home. If you have a sewing machine and you know how to sew, this is going to be very simple. Basically the purpose of a book sleeve is the same as like a laptop sleeve. You just put your book in here whenever you throw it in your purse, your backpack, any sort of bag. Keeps your book protected, keeps the pages from getting bent, scratches, tears, anything like that. Your book is gonna be protected in here. I made both a paperback size and a hardcover size. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. All right, I am at the fabric store and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and see if we can find anything cute. All right guys, we are back from the fabric store. I'm gonna start off by saying all of this fabric was $13.07. Let me show you guys what I got. So first I got half a yard of this strawberry and flower pattern. And then from the clearance section area, I got this like, let me open it actually. It's kind of just like a cream recycled looking pattern with like little specks in it. I don't know if you can see that very well, but this is gonna be the outside and then this is gonna be the lining for this one. And then I saw this one that had cats on bookshelves and I kind of just had to get this one. And for the lining of that one, I got this clearance one. It's just like a green with like different vines and flowers. And then for the second one, I'm gonna do this for the outside and this as the lining. And then I also got a yard of fleece interface. This is basically just like something that we're gonna put in between the layers to give the book sleeve a sort of like padding effect. This is honestly completely optional, but I just like it personally so that the book sleeve has more of a fluffier padded feel. And then I have all the rest of my materials that I need right here. And then I'm going to put everything else that you're going to need in the description below. But yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna use these as guides. So for the paperback one, I'm just gonna measure the paperback and then add three inches onto that. So this one's gonna be 11 and a half by eight and a half inches. So you're gonna wanna cut two of the outside fabric for the outside of the sleeve. Then just do the same exact thing with the lining. You should also have two of these. And then like I said, this part is optional, but then you can also cut two pieces of the same measurement with your interface if you want. Okay, so you should have six pieces total, two of the interface pieces if you would like, and then two lining pieces and two outside pieces. The sewing machine has entered the chat. Okay, it has honestly been a long time since I have used my sewing machine, but the first thing I am going to do is sew the hem. So the way you're gonna wanna do this, start with your outside fabric facing towards you. So this is the side that I want to be showing, so it's gonna be towards me. Next, do your interface. They are usually the exact same on both sides, so it doesn't matter which way this one goes. And then you're gonna wanna do your lining facing away from you. And basically, if you fold this in half and look inside of it, it's going to look like the sleeve. So you should have your outsides facing out and then your insides facing out in the correct way. That's how you can check if it is facing the right way. And as you can see, like my measurements and cutting is very off. It really doesn't matter. So the very first thing we're gonna do is fold this top edge over and sew along this edge. I've pinned it so you can see, but we're basically just gonna sew right here. I like to use a zigzag stitch, but you can also use a straight stitch, whatever works for you. Okay, so this is what the beginning of the sleeve is going to look like. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is just cut this edge pretty close to where we just sewed. And then I'm gonna do another zigzag stitch along this unfinished edge. And once you're done, the inside edge is gonna look something like this. 
This is what the outside looks like. And basically we did that just because I find this is the simplest way to get a clean edge on the inside. It's not gonna fray or look unfinished or weird. So now we're just gonna repeat that entire process with the other side of the sleeve. Also, another reason I love to use the zigzag stitch personally is because it is very forgiving. And I was definitely not sewing this straight, but it still looks pretty good. All right, guys, I've got both of my pieces done. We are going to sew the pieces together to make the sleeve. Keep in mind that you are going to be sewing the outside pieces together. And I know that sounds stupid, but basically we're going to sew it together and then turn it inside out and it's going to be seamless. What I like to do is take the book that I'm using as an example, kind of insert it where I would want it to sit, and then I'm just going to pin tightly around the edges. All right, I'm done pinning. Now I'm just going to sew all around the edge. Also for this part, I am going to use a regular straight stitch. Okay, we've essentially finished the book sleeve, but we're gonna add a few more finishing touches to make it just right. So first I'm going to cut the excess off of the book sleeve. Okay, now I'm going to zigzag around the unfinished edges. All right, it is time for the grand reveal. We are going to turn the book sleeve inside out. You can also take scissors and shove it into the corners so that you can get your project fully turned inside out. Okay guys, so the book sleeve is complete and we have some really nicely finished edges on the inside so it's not going to fray and get destroyed over time. Now I have one final fun little step that you can skip if you want, but basically I'm just going to add a button and clasp. And for that, I'm just going to use an old hair tie. I mean, you can use a new hair tie too, but I know everybody has these annoying little hair ties where they kind of get like the elastic breaks and it gets pulled apart. You know what hair ties I'm talking about, the ones that you don't ever want to use. So use an old hair tie. And then I basically made this tiny little patch. I took two tiny pieces of fabric, didn't even measure it, just use my eyeballs. Pretty sides facing each other, sewed around, left one side open, flipped it inside out, folded the unfinished edge in, sewed around it, made this little patch. And then I also just have an old button. So essentially what I'm going to do is sew the hair tie onto the fabric, and then I'm going to sew the patch on top of it. Then I'm going to hand sew the button on the front, and then we'll have a little clasp. All right, guys, a moment of truth. Here it is, the finished book sleeve. We've got the little patch with the hair tie in the back here. We've got the button clasp in the front. We got these really nice finished edges. And for a little at-home project, I think this turned out really good. Let me also show the inside. Here's the inside. I kind of showed this earlier, but we just have these really nicely finished edges a nice soft lining to protect the book. And yeah, this is the finished book sleeve. And like I said before, the button and the clasp are completely optional. A lot of the stitching that I did is optional. It just depends on how you want the book sleeve to look. It honestly helps it last longer and be more durable too. So I do suggest doing those steps, but other things are optional. So totally up to you what you want to do. But yeah, that is the finished book sleeve. So now I'm going to make a hardcover one with these fabrics. All right guys, that is gonna be all for today's video. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know anything you wanna let me know. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and make sure that you're subscribed so that you can see more videos from me in the future. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Play Illicit Affairs by Taylor Swift. All right, I've pinned it so you can see what, what?